And well, in an alarming turn of events, Boeing has released a new batch of internal messages in which company employees discuss with deep unease the 737 MAX aircraft. The messages show employees ridiculing senior managers, customers and regulators. The internal Boeing documents also show hundreds of messages containing harshly critical comments about the development of the 737 MAX, including one that said that the plane was designed by clowns, who in turn are supervised by monkeys. These shocking internal messages of Boeing employees were found in the course of the 737 MAX investigation. The report of the investigation was sent to Congress in December after they testified before the House Committee on Transportation and Infrastructure. The Senate Commerce, Science and Transportation Committee in December held hearings on issues regarding the design, development, certification and operation of the 737 MAX. Boeing employees exchanged messages relating to the problems of the 737 MAX after the Lion Airlines crashed. And one of the chats from the redacted messages would read, and I quote, Would you put your family on a MAX simulator trained aircraft? I wouldn't, unquote, another employee said. Well, the 737 MAX was grounded in March 2019 after two crashes killed 346 people. Boeing, in fact, has put out a statement today on employee messages provided to U.S. Where the company has characterized the chats and emails as completely unacceptable. In the statement, Boeing has said, and I quote, We are confident that all of Boeing's MAX simulators are functioning effectively. Since that time, both internal and external subject matter experts have repeatedly tested and qualified the simulators at issue. The simulator software has been constantly improving during this time through repeated cycles of testing, qualification and revision of the software code. We have made significant changes as a company to enhance our safety processes, organizations and culture. The language used in these communications and some of the sentiments they express are inconsistent with Boeing values and the company is taking appropriate action in response." Unquote. Now, Boeing says some of the messages raise questions about Boeing's interactions with the FAA in connection with the simulator qualification process. The communications do not reflect the company we are and need to be and they are completely unacceptable is what Boeing has gone on to state. Meanwhile, House Committee on Transportation and Infrastructure Chair Peter DeFazio also released their statement saying that the case is under investigation from nearly 10 months where the investigation uncovered several serious problems with Boeing's decision-making and how profit was prioritized over safety. But these new emails bring my concerns to an entirely new level. Reacting to the revelation, Democrat leader Richard Blumenthal tweeted saying, and I quote, Apologies from Boeing are not enough after these astonishing and appalling emails. And email reported by the New York Times Real Time. Now let's go through the timeline of how the Real Times began to board. Well, on the 30th of the first was in instead of designing a new plane, Boeing launched the 77 Max, a new generation of its popular 737 plane. pilots should do in the event of a sensor failure that may cause the plane to point its nose down. On the 10th of March 2019, a 737 MAX 8 operated by Ethiopian Airlines crashes, killing all 157 on board. And then on the 11th of March 2019, Boeing says it will introduce FAA-approved changes to the flight control system no later than April in a reaction to the Lion Air crash. 
The Ethiopian Airlines crashes cause is still unknown and on the 12th of March 2019, international airlines including of Ethiopia, China and Europe grounded the 737 MAX. On the 13th of March 2019, after holding out for days, US authorities grounded the MAX, saying new evidence shows similarities between the two deadly crashes.